guys, welcome back to my channel and this is totally my second time trying to take this video so let's just hope this goes well, hope it's recording and then I can get it out to you guys. In this video, I wanted to talk about what we won't stop hearing about, what everyone is talking about and that's obviously coronavirus but I wanted to talk about it from like a pharmacy student's perspective and kind of what's happening on the side of rotations, jobs, things like that, graduation, everything um, and just kind of highlight what's happening at my school. I'm sure a lot of you guys can kind of relate to what's going on at your schools nationwide um, and then just highlight some facts here and there um, and maybe give some resources on some of the things that I've been struggling with and I've been finding. So hopefully this is helpful um, and we can just kind of have this as an open discussion. So for me, the first thing that got affected was actually my rotation. I was on my internal medicine rotation at a hospital and that changed to work from home about two weeks ago. It was actually really interesting. At the hospital, we weren't really noticing much change at first. I was hearing about it on the news, everyone was talking about it, but then I'd go to rotation and I wouldn't really see a change because obviously we have other patients there dealing with much bigger issues at the time. But I think things just escalated really quickly. Within two days, everything was different at the hospital. They were having meetings about Corona, about possible treatment options, hand sanitizer, everything and all of the above. And then about two days before I couldn't go to the hospital anymore, I went in and they were stopping people they were checking if they were even allowed to come in they were asking patients if they had any symptoms of coronavirus whether it was a cough cold anything of the sort patients were not allowed to have more than one family member visit them at a time so they were cracking down slowly but I think things again just escalated extremely fast and it was just day by day like I'm sure it's been for the rest of the world as well it was just pretty crazy to see the implications actually at a hospital um, they always have masks at the front and people were stealing them by the box. They ran out of hand sanitizer, things like that. So again, it was just really interesting to witness. But overall, it's just kind of been chaotic and there's just been no precedent to this. Um, and it feels like there's just kind of no rules. Um, so one day my manager just texted me and I was just to not go into the hospital from then on and I've been working from home again like I said for the past two weeks. So similar to me, I know a lot of other students got affected. For context purposes, I go to school in Massachusetts and I think things got implemented in the last week and a half but at first it was just site by site. So my preceptor had told me that I couldn't go in but other students were or other students actually couldn't go in before me. So it was kind of a coin toss in that way. But I think about a week ago, all hospitals said no students are allowed. So all rotations have been canceled. And I think that's been the biggest issue for pharmacy students nationwide. As I'm sure you guys know, for the NAPLEX and to be board certified, we have a certain amount of intern hours we do have to complete. And that's been the biggest issue in terms of canceling rotations. So I know my school has been working to figure out what to do with those hours and how to work around getting students to complete those hours without being at a clinical site. And I think they've managed to figure it out. Everyone who had a clinical site for either their last block of rotation, which is coming up in two days actually, or just the last two weeks of their current rotation, um, they did cancel all clinical sites and switch those students to sites where you can do remote work. So that's been, I think, a work in progress and I know they're still working on it. Some students don't even have their site for the rotation that starts in two days. So it's pretty chaotic, but um, I think they're slowly figuring it out. And I think this will, if anything, kind of open more doors to see how pharmacists can work in other realms other than actually being physically present at the hospital or in a retail position. In general though, retail pharmacies have still been working of course, they're kind of first line responders right now. Those interns have not been working from home or at least the friends that I know that are working at a retail store currently. So in terms of rotation, I think they've got it pretty much figured out at my school. I I'm sure they're taking similar steps nationwide to troubleshoot this issue. The second issue that has come to light during this chaotic time for me specifically has been the job search. I know I'm not the only one in this, but I think it's just a confusing time. Um, we're not sure if companies are hiring, if there's a hiring hold, or if it's the opposite. If there's a higher need for healthcare professionals, then there may be added jobs. And actually on that line, I just heard yesterday that CVS is actually hiring 50,000 new employees, full-time, part-time, temps, etc. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested in looking into, staff pharmacists, managers, per diem pharmacists, all of that, they are opening up a lot more positions. 
Americans. And that's actually because CVS has partnered with the White House to set up tents to test for coronavirus. I know that it's been implemented in Massachusetts at some CVS stores. So I think for those reasons, they are hiring more. And of course, pharmacies are not closing, so they do have that need. I think for hospitals and institutions as such, I think it really depends on where and which hospital. The hospital that I was just doing my internal medicine rotation at, they actually are doing a hiring hold um, as per my pharmacy manager. So I think it just depends um, where the need really lies, but that is another stressor within this chaotic time. One resource I've actually found helpful is on LinkedIn. There's a lot of people who have the resources to provide jobs to people in various realms, but specifically for healthcare. I've seen a lot of people posting, hey, if you need a job or you know, if you lost your job or in any way that they can help, they have been posting about it. So if you guys just search like, hashtag hiring, hashtag COVID hiring, something like that, um, you will see searches and there are people specific to some states, things like that. So if that's something you guys would find helpful, maybe check that out. I have been looking at those posts and I definitely think it'd be a good resource. The third issue is obviously graduation. Class of 2020 does not have a ceremony. I think that this is pretty much implemented nationwide at this point. I know my school followed in suit after some other schools made the announcement. And although that is very sad, um, I think it is the right measure to take during this time. So those are all the immediate changes that have happened in pharmacy school and that's impacted us as pharmacy students. It has impacted obviously our day to day in terms of rotation and things like that. But I do think we live in a time that we can do this work remotely and I think it is our responsibility to take all these measures to help not spread the virus. If you guys have any other changes as students that you guys are experiencing at other schools in other states, I think it'd be really interesting to hear. I think this is a really unprecedented time and society, professionals, healthcare professionals, government officials, no one really knows what to do. I think that if we can all share our experiences, it'll definitely be helpful. If you guys are struggling with what I said, definitely check out CVS and LinkedIn like I said. And if you guys have any other resources, either send them to me, comment them below, etc. And hopefully others can find that helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching and you guys will see me in my next video.